Hey guys, it's Will here and uh, welcome back to the channel. So uh, tonight I just wanted to talk a little bit about Malign Portents, the new stuff that's coming for Age of Sigmar. And what I really wanted to do was summarise it because there's a lot of information that's been drip fed over quite a period of time and there's still a bit to come. But I just wanted to uh, put like a 10 minute summary video out there to draw it all together so if anyone isn't sort of up to speed on it they're going to know what's going on and uh, decide whether they want to look into it more. So uh, what is Malign Portents? You know, it started with these little teaser videos um, on uh, GW's uh, like website and um, the YouTube and everything, um, but what what were they uh, what were they teasing about? So, malign importance is actually going to be a lot of things. It's a global campaign. It's a new book. It's a progression in the storyline. It's a change in how the storyline of Age of Sigma is actually uh, actually written, and it's a website as well. So there's a, a lot out there already. Uh, the big thing, obviously, the progression in the story. So Age of Sigma, since its beginning, has always been a progressive story. You know, it's uh, started out with um, all the Stormcast were still up in the. Uh, uh, in the heavenly realm and then they've started to gradually conquer the mortal realms um, and this is kind of the the next step you know Sigmar's had a very successful campaign he's established these cities within the mortal realms and uh, uh, then things are all about to change so it starts off with these signs uh, these malign portents if you will um, and uh, they are sort of things that are happening and it's all pointing towards something a bit sinister and possibly something to do with death and so the the videos they've now got up um, as well as having these there's a uh, like a, a short story type video of this guy and he's not someone who serves any particular faction he is kind of a, an unaligned guy but he's clearly got some sort of mystical power because he's able to kind of uh, do an astral projection to like project his spirit out to uh, seek some answers and he finds these four different what are called harbingers um they're, so they're like one for each faction and these are the guys that are getting new models um and each of them is kind of uh, preparing for this up and coming whatever it is in different ways so we've got the stormcast guy the lord ordinator and then there's that goblin shaman with all the mushrooms the chaos woman and the uh, the new undead guy and um, what he's finding through uh, his kind of uh, observations of all of these is that there is something going on in the realm of death shayish and with the last one where he uh, sees this uh, this undead guy he's in shayish and um, he uh, appears to be establishing some sort of vast army of the dead and there's some sort of great work going on which is finally revealed to be this like great monument to death. Um, we don't know quite what it does but uh, yeah it looks like uh, Nagash and the forces of death are rallying their forces to uh, you know probably make an attack on the other realms. Um, so yeah death is coming not just death but the forces of death are coming um, and Games Workshop are talking about this being the the biggest change in the story of Age of Sigma since it's come out so obviously Age of Sigma when it came out was a complete rewrite of Games Workshop's fantasy you know it's not even Warhammer fantasy anymore it's a completely new game um, and then they've had various books, the Realm Gate Wars books, where they've been gradually progressing the story. They had the summer campaign back in 2016, set in the Realm of Life, that progressed the story further. But this is uh, the uh, going to be a really big progression. And uh, you don't just get to read the story, you get to play it too. So there's going to be a big um, narrative, uh, sorry, a big like global campaign from the... Uh, uh, from the way it's looking. They've uh, not said too much about time scale yet, although they have hinted at something to do with the 17th of February, so that's just over a month away. They've not formally said that's the start date, um, but they've been sort of, that date has been uh, put out there that might actually be the release date for the rule book or something else, you know. They've, but in the meantime, they're talking about mustering your forces and they've kind of set these like goals for people to achieve so you kind of between the 13th of January and the 10th of February you're supposed to be doing a start collecting set now 
I won't be doing a start collecting set, uh, not because I don't think it's a good idea, but because I'm still working on my Stormcast and I need to finish that army before I start another one, as well as the 40k and Necromunda armies I'm working on. <laughs> I've got so many models to paint. Um, but yeah, so uh, after that, they'll, you know, on the 10th of February, they're probably going to tell you what they want to paint next for the muster. And I think this is really cool because it's giving people time to be ready. You know, it's not a case of, oh, if you play Age of Sigma and have an army, then you can get involved. If not, you're probably not going to have enough time to get stuff together there. They're giving you enough time to get an army together to get involved in this, which is great if you're a new player or someone like me who has been playing a little while but really does need to get their army fully painted and up to standard. Um, and I also mentioned a book, so there's going to be a book coming out with this. Now, I haven't said much, but I imagine it's going to be in a similar format to the Realm Gate Wars, where there's a good chunk of fluff, but some rules in there for narrative play. But in the video on the Malign Portance website, they did also talk about matched play in that. So there's a, going to be some things you can do for matched play, which is cool, because around where I am, most people who play Age of Sigma want to play matched play. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's decent. Um, certainly interested to see what that is, and it gives those of us who would be tempted by the book but might not necessarily get it because it's not matched play a reason to buy it. Although I hope it's not like one page of matched play that you need to need to carry on playing, and then a whole book that's not going to be useful. But we'll see. You know, <sighs> hold my breath on that one, but uh, hopefully should be something decent. And a website as well you know they, they really are throwing everything into this and the website is where all the videos have come from and where all the uh, most of this information that I've got is coming from and there's a series of short stories being gradually published over the weeks on there so there's uh, two up at the moment and it seems that each one of these stories link to one of the original um, sort of portent videos that were released right at the start so we've got one at the moment um, about uh, Horticulus Slimux, the uh, Nurgle guy riding the big demon snail thing, and that is um, he's kind of the star of one of them. And you can see in that how Nurgle and Death, although they kind of you'd think they're the same, are actually very different. Um, and how the two kind of interact. And these are short stories, you know, they're five, ten minute reads, you know, there's no reason to think, oh. You know, is this going to be a big long thing to read? No, it's a, it's a nice easy thing to read. But uh, yeah, so you've got Slimux in that and uh, that book, see, that story seems to relate to the portent just referred to as The Field. And then the next one seems to refer to the, um, the icon. And this one had a very interesting ending because it almost made a, a guy who wasn't specifically described as a Stormcast but certainly from the description given of him, it sounded like a Stormcast. Made him out to be not quite as benevolent as we've been led to believe the Stormcast are. You know, he seems like he's uh, actually quite a, uh, a terrifying presence to the, uh, the main human character in the book. So uh, yeah, you wanna know more, go and check it out on the Malign Portance website. But uh, yeah, it's, um, it's certainly interesting. And um, yeah, they've also got like a behind the scenes video um, with sort of chats with the design team, like Phil Kelly and the guys talking about um, what's going on. And um, yeah, um, the stories will gradually update. I think it's seven or nine eventually we'd expect, but uh, right now there's just the two up there. Um, but from the uh, the videos that are on there, you can not only see that it's a progression in the fluff, but a step change in how they're actually writing the lore. There's a lot more focus on individuals and more of the sort of the classic fantasy where, you know, individual humans have like they matter. It's not just fought on the scale of gods and demigods. It's actually, you know, individual sort of human perspective on things. Um, so that's uh, that's interesting. And it also tells you a lot more about the realms. They've really fleshed out the idea of what the um, the nine realms are in a almost uh, metaphysical sense, almost like a cosmological sense um, of how they formed where they physically are in relation to each other. And it's uh, certainly worth giving it a look if you've uh, 
so far found the the models of Age of Sigma very exciting, but some of the fluff a little bit um, sparse and not fleshed out. I think this will be uh, be a good one to have a read of um, or have a look at because uh, yeah, there's uh, there's definitely a lot more information about the actual world of Age of Sigma as well as um, the people in it. So yeah, I'm really excited for this actually. Um, it sounds like it could be really good for Age of Sigma, both in terms of for those of us who are already playing, it's a, a nice progression in the fluff. It gives us an excuse to play some games. I know I've been playing more 40k the last sort of six months because we obviously had the new edition, but I'd quite like to get some more Age of Sigma games in. This might be the catalyst. But also, if you've kind of been on the fringes of Age of Sigma, you've maybe had a look, maybe dabbled a little bit, but not quite sure, maybe not completely sold on the fluff, it's uh, certainly worth a second look now. The game is very different to how it first came out. It almost feels like when Age of Sigma first came out, it was almost like a beta test. It almost didn't feel like a full game. Now we've got two General's Handbooks under our belt, and the story is progressing nicely. It's starting to feel much more like a fully fleshed out game and certainly one that is uh, worth a second look if you weren't completely sure the first time around. As for what I'm going to be doing, like I said, I want to get some more games in, um, but to that effect, I kind of need to finish my Stormcast army. I've been sitting on 1500 points since I finished the Star Drake now, and I want to get up to 2000. I have all the models, I got some um, decimators for Christmas, so I'm uh, certainly not short of uh, stuff to paint, I just need to get my butt into gear and paint it. So uh, yeah, I'm seeing these deadlines rather than a target to get a battle force or a starter set painted, you know, I want to uh, get my Stormcast army actually painted up, because I got all the models, I just need to, uh, just need to do them. So uh, yeah, um, let me know in the comments if you're excited for Malign Importance or if uh, you know there's something else you know that I haven't haven't covered here. And uh, yeah, expect to see um, some more on this further down the line. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.